Hmm. So who says you can't cook eggs on cast iron? I got a whole lot online. Tired of buying some cast iron. That eggs are very, very difficult to cook on cast iron. As long as you got a decent layer of grease down. Nice and hot. I, the first time, the first two that I did make were a little, um, they did stick a little bit. But it's because I kept pushing the uh, spatula underneath them, thinking I needed to keep keep them from sticking. Um, I was making it worse. For some reason, my fire alarm in the basement going off for smoke upstairs. I didn't know smoke, tra smoke traveled downstairs, but anyway. The trick that I found is just make sure that you get a nice little... So you let it sit on there for a little bit and get a nice... any issue with all the eggs. Not too shabby. And they are yummy. Oh my goodness, they are yummy. Okay, so trying to cut eggs. Wheel fork while I'm cooking. It's not easy. Metal one in, the, in on order, but uh, yeah, ain't too shabby at all. Not having any issue at all with eggs on cast iron. I think my next feat is gonna be uh, some <clears throat> some fish. And like uh, fluffy fish also says not to do. Tomato sauce probably won't because I know that can hurt the finish as long as I take care of it but eggs not an issue at all. So anyway I'm gonna get back to eating and feed the dogs here in a moment. So, yep. Yeah. Alright we're back. It's time for breakfast. It's a little dark in here. I got the lights off. But uh I just made the dog is a uh Yummy egg and bacon sandwich on my cast iron griddles this morning because I wanted to test it. I've been doing a lot of research and, on cast iron and how to cook on it properly and season it and get it ready. And While I've read that it's not impossible to cook eggs on cast iron, I've read a ridiculous amount of testimony on it that it's very difficult, especially if you don't have a good layer of oil or... It's not seasoned properly and it sticks really bad and I have not properly seasoned these pans and I have not done the whole <clears throat> sanding them down smoothing them out and getting a clear finish and sticking them in the oven with oil on them for 450 for an hour and and redoing that malt these are just straight out of the box and I've cooked on them twice now and you know I scrub them down a little bit and put a little bit of oil oil on them afterwards but you know, like I said in the earlier section, the uh, the first two eggs did stick a little bit because I was using the spatula and trying to, I thought that I had to uh, run the spatula around it a lot, but I quickly learned that if you let it sit there for a short time and get a nice little base, a nice little crispy base on, on it, they put, they peel right off. No issues. So anyway, you guys are ready for some breakfast? Yes. Let me turn on the light. We got night. All right, guys. I was also wasting a little bit of time. Let them cool down a little bit. Cause I know one or these were a little bit warm. But here, ah, oh, there go back in the next sandwich. Good girl, Kagali. Come here, you little fluffums. Good girl. Moose. Good old Mr. Moose. Good boy. Papa, don't bite me. Now, see, you're causing trouble. Get down. Right, Mr. Cunha, and Spidey, I'm sorry. 
Buddy. There you go, buddy. Good boy, buddy. Alright, Mr. Kune, you ready, big boy? I got a pretty good one for you here. Don't bite my fingers, okay? Good boy. And the charcoal butt. There you go, charcoal butt. Alright, that was good stuff, wasn't it? Alright, Moose. Alright, buddy. And Kira. Yeah. So cool. I like these things. They're pretty darn cool. And, uh, I'm going to say before I, these are still pretty hot, but so nothing sticks to it, so I get a chance to uh, clean it, just run this little chain mail sponge over it and anything that was on there stuck on there broken free and uh, need to wait for it to cool down considerably before I well actually I can just take a, a dry rag here in a moment and get the rest of the little crumbs off and that'll be good it'll still have that layer of grease on there from the eggs and bacon that'll probably be more than good enough yes I'm gonna do that while I'm not holding the camera because this is still hot and I want to burn myself so Oh yeah, this is still very hot. So anyway, you guys have a good one. See ya.